Hey guys, Bobby here, and I'm super excited for this series, critiquing your websites and your films. Now I'm putting what I've learned with almost 12 years in this industry back into you guys with those critiques. Um, and before we get into it, just a couple quick housekeeping things. Uh, first off, in these videos, I'm only gonna review a, a, you know, a handful of each, just depending on time. So if your uh, website or film is not in this critique video, which it, it probably won't be, just going by numbers, that is okay. I still want you guys a part of this discussion. I am not the only opinion on this topic. So if you notice something that stands out to you, um, or you know you want to kind of dialogue with me and respond to some of the things that I've said, I would love for you to comment down below. I think that can be incredibly helpful to everybody. Along those same lines, you know, even if this is not your website, you can learn something from this. Um, websites, you know, work in a, in a general sense, and there's lots of things in a general sense that I'll be pointing out, uh, both good and bad. Uh, second on that list, and kind of along the same lines, if you find something useful in this video or you enjoy it, just getting it out of the way now, I would love to have you like this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, as well as general wedding video education. And lastly, if you're looking to have your website or your latest wedding film critiqued, I would love to do that. Comment down below, uh, leave your website, um, and let me know, you know if you want a website critique or if you want a film critique, I'll probably just pull the first video that I find on your website or something like that. Get in touch with me in some way, shape, or form, and I'll definitely add you to the list for future videos. All right, with that, let's get into it with our first website. All right, so here we are with our first website. This is bunvideography.com, um, and they submitted this website for review. Um, and just a heads up, I've got a little bit of a cold, so give me a little leeway here. Uh, so my first, um, my my first thought here is I definitely like it. I like kind of your color scheme. You've got the you know the blue, the dark blue, navy, whatever you call it, and kind of the reddish pink. I don't know exactly what you call both these. And you see them throughout. You know it look it looks cohesive, which is good. Um, just like an easy scrolling website. I notice there's not a, a ton at the top here, which you know in some ways, if that works for you, I think I think you know it can work for you. Um, but you, you might kind of break things down a little bit up there. I think these probably just, if I click them, yeah, lead to just different points, like anchor points or whatever they're called. Um, so I like um, that you've got, you know, a couple videos here. Your your videos are, are pretty prominent. Um, capture your love story. So here's my, here's my thing with that. This, you know, I don't know if you're trying to run this as like a slogan or something like that. Um, you know, and, and tell us your story. I think that probably goes to your contact. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Um, so capture your story. My issue with that is, and, and you know, we're guilty of it too, right? In emails and in, in whatever, everything, almost every wedding videographer, or, you know, who's, who's doing it cinematically is doing it in the sense of like, let me tell your story. Let me capture your story. It's, it's so many people doing it um, where I, I don't think that you can't use it because it is true, right? You know, there's truth to that. Um, but I would hesitate to make it this big and bold. Um, I would much rather see, you know, if you're confident in your work um, and, and people are booking you because they love your work, I would much rather see, um, you know, maybe a, a video up here. And then, you know, down here, if you want to capture your love story or something, you know, fine. Or you want to bring it up later. And again, you know, that's just... That's just my opinion. Um, all right, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So uh, another thing that I noticed right away is there's no, and it might be later, let me check really briefly. Okay, so I don't see, okay, yeah. So down here I see your um, like social tabs. I would, I would encourage you to maybe have um, them up here in this corner, this right corner or you know you can have a little drop down or I've even seen ones that like it's it's over here and it kind of follows as you scroll. I would just if that's important to your business, which I think in general it should be, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be though. Um, you know you you'd want that maybe up here. I do like right off the bat I can tell you uh, something important. You have your contact button right there, and then you also have this, which is essentially a contact button as well. Um, and you know you want multiple points where somebody can contact you, so you're doing good on that. Um, this down button, okay, yeah, it just brings you to the next thing. So uh, I think that's my thoughts on like the first impression, top, you know, third of this or whatnot. Um, I don't know if I have any more there. I, I, you know, this is all kind of on a whim, first glance. So I'm sure I might have more down the road, but um, 
that's what I've got off the top of my head. All right, so moving on to the featured videos tab. I don't love, okay, so see, you know, you have featured videos. I, I don't mind this, right, where you have like your video and you have, um, you know, a very brief description. This description is probably helping you a lot with SEO, I would imagine. Um, and then, you know, flipped here, that all, you know, that looks nice um, in a format sense. I'll get into a couple things soon. I don't love that featured videos is off to the left when you have wedding collections centered um, and contact us off to the left. That's a little confusing. I would probably lean centered. Like this almost looks like a formatting error maybe in my opinion. Um, and then I also don't like, you know, kind of again, going back to this capture your love story thing. Um, I'm gonna turn these off. Oh, they are just on. Okay, I'm gonna turn my phone in airplane mode. So I don't love how you know, the capture your story is so huge and then your actual, you know, things that break down your website, the like important, um, you know, like featured videos, collections, that kind of thing, I'm blanking on the word, are like much smaller than that. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know exactly the fix. I, I would probably center that. I would lean towards centering that or making some change there. All right. Now getting into the actual videos and I'm not going to, I'm not going to comment on the videos. I'm not going to watch them. Um, that's a, you know, a separate type of video that we're doing. Um, so one thing I notice here is you have different aspect ratios. I don't actually know if the videos are shot in that aspect ratio and, and that's why, or if you've just chosen, you know, freeze frames. Also, I'm going to just make sure that they are playable. Yeah. Okay. They are playing. Um, I'm going to refresh so that that comes back. Um, so you notice here, this is like, you know, uh, 235 one or, you know, whatever, this is a, a wider aspect ratio and here is 16 by nine or something like that. Um, I, I would, I would, you know, that stands out as, I don't want to say like an amateur mistake because maybe, maybe you've switched, right? You know, maybe you shot your first two, if, if you've only done three, I don't know. And then you did this one, or maybe these are your three favorites and one, you know, it, at some point you switched to this or from this. Um, but I would look at changing that somehow. Um, I also think that this is, I, if this is your best wedding, this top one, then that should be prominent. If it's your latest wedding, but you don't feel it's your best, it should not be the first one. Uh, that's just a, you know, a general thing. And, and for any of these, if you have a lot of work, even if these are your three latest, if they're not what you want to book, if they're not either something that you're, proud of or you know because you know weddings can be difficult certain weddings are just harder to pull a story from or if they are not um uh so if they're not your best work or if they're not like work that you're looking to book like if you really want to book barn weddings you should have barn weddings on your site if you really want to book high-end weddings you should have high-end weddings on your site because seeing things that are different than that are going to throw potential couples basically um, whereas seeing something related to that, if they're like, oh, I really, I really love this barn wedding you did. I'm getting married at a barn. It's kind of an in point for you. It's a discussion point, if nothing else. Um, so that's my thoughts on that. So kind of on that note, I don't love this freeze frame. It looks, um, it looks maybe even a little blurry to me, which they're in their dance. So that might make sense. You know, it might be a little motion. Like this looks way sharper. The lighting looks better. This is a very flat image. Um, on that note, I will gracefully refer you to my uh, five tips that beginning or that wedding videographers five sorry five mistakes wedding videographers make it is my most recent video probably uh, before this one um, and one of them that I talk about is not bringing lights to a reception I don't think there was a light used here could be wrong um, but I would definitely recommend checking that video out but also using lights in your reception so I might um, I might even get rid of this one unless it's your best work. And then I would find a way I would pull a screen grab that's, you know, 16 by nine and put it there or something just to make this more uniform. Um, let's see. Um, and, and also, like I said, I think this freeze frame looks better. So if it's all the same to you and all the videos are, you know, of equal quality and you like them all the same, I might put this one first, but again, I'm not watching the videos. Um, Again, I think these are good for your SEO. You're probably going to rank well, or it's going to help you rank at least with, how are these still popping up? Um, with, you know, these different venues and then, you know, Charleston and stuff like that. Also, Charleston, awesome. We were just there uh, this past summer. 
Um, and I like that they're brief. You know, I don't want to see a ton of text here. Um, one last thought on this, aside from the freeze frame from the video, I'm not a huge fan of this font. Um, I don't, again, know what your videos are, are like, but whether they're, you know, fun party videos or whether they're more like romantic, you know, instrumental or, or somewhere in between, this font doesn't strike me as either of those. Um, so there's my thought on that kind of in the video territory outside of website, but there you go. Um, okay. I am making myself a prominent promise to not really comment on your packages and pricing or really as, as much as I can, I'm going to comment a little bit. I like that your collections, you know, are here. Um, I think that this is a lot of info and I think that it's a lot of info that people can interpret in many ways. So what we do is we have our starting price on our website and we have some very brief stuff where it's like highlight film, two shooters. Granted, that's because we're branded as a husband and wife team. Um, but we don't have our full package breakdown. We don't have all of our collections on there. We don't break them down. We don't, you know, include everything that's included. That's where we want to discuss with our clients. And we want to, you know, we're not salesy, but we want to be able to sell them on those collections and be able to answer any questions so that there's never any, you know, if, if they interpret, uh, you know, whatever, I don't know, eight hours, I, you, you are pretty detailed here, but if they interpret this in some way, not like what you actually deliver or do, then when they bring that up, it's a point of conflict and it is kind of automatically a, um, it's, it's not like the whole experience is negative, but you don't want any negative little, you know, tallies throughout your conversation. And so I see that as a, an area of potential confusion, whereas it's much better for you to present a lot of this detail to them. Um, I might have like a very brief, like um, very brief, I wouldn't even break it down, but just like general what your packages or what they can include. Um, and I would have your starting price. I like that certain people don't. I think it depends on a few things. I, I like to have our starting price because I don't want, I, I'm totally open to all clients, but very often um, somebody with a budget that is, you know, half of our starting point is not going to find, uh, you know, double that in their budget all of a sudden. Not to say that it hasn't happened, but it very often does not. And so if you, you know, have your starting price point, you often get people who have a budget of around your starting price point um, to, you know, move forward and have actual discussions with them. Um, I will also make a very quick note. So it looks like you're in um, South Carolina would be my guess from these. Um, $1,200 is incredibly cheap for wedding video. I would take a very strong look at um, your cost of doing business and the amount of work that you're putting in here. Um, you know, definitely taking into consideration all the taxes and you know all the other costs and I'm not gonna get into that. I don't think that you can be sustainable anywhere near these prices. Um, even if you're just starting out, I think it's very important to charge somewhat appropriately. And I will refer you once again to my five mistakes wedding videographers make video. I will try to link it here or whatever. Um, that is uh, number one. My number one mistake that people make is with general pricing. And I go through a, a couple scenarios um, and, and the mistake that's made as well as, um, somewhat how to remedy it or, or more just like the, the long-term effects and, and why you want to avoid it. So, um, you have that, uh, another thing I notice is you have these little descriptions that mention South Carolina, there's Charleston, um, music city and Charleston again. So I think you're in the South music city. I don't know. Is that like Nashville or whatever? I'm not sure. Probably not. Anyway, um, so you have that, but you don't really like list anywhere where you're based. Um, I would have almost like, like I would much rather have a video up here and then a little blurb that might actually be down here. Not really. So I would have like a little blurb about who is bun videography, not like who you are, not the about us like down here with your photo, but like, a, 
you know, Bun Videography is a South Charleston, South Carolina based wedding um, filmmaking company specializing in, and you can use it there, capturing your love story. We, you know, we create films for, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to write the whole thing, but there you go. Um, I, I would lean towards something like that up here. Um, I like this. I think reviews or, you know, people's actual words are great. Um, I like the look of this. Um, I, I would maybe try to gather a couple of reviews and have this, you know, scrolling or where they can click through it and then have a title up here for reviews. Cause this is kind of its own section, but it's not titled. Um, and then down here, your contact us. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I mean, there's not, that's all good. There's not a whole lot in there. Um, and yeah, I don't think anything with the contact form itself strikes me as odd or missing or, you know, too much. And then again here, I like that you have kind of like this like separate logo, like you have the bun up here and then you have the B that's kind of cool. Um, and again, the social tabs, I would have them more prominent somewhere. You can have them down there as well. And I think that's it. So yeah, I mean, overall, like I think I, I hit on things I like, some things that I think you could change, some things I just kind of don't like. Um, I think that it is a, a pretty simple website, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I think a lot of people can get really confused on a very detailed uh, website. And if you're focusing on wedding films and wedding films alone, this website is great for you. Hopefully some of those tips helped you out and you can implement them. All right, moving on to our second one. I'm gonna close this. All right, we've got Above and Beyond Pro. Um, so right off the bat, let's see here. So you've got this image. So okay, right off the bat, the thing that stands out to me is you offer video and photo, it looks like. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, this image, now let's see, I've been on here for 10 seconds or so. I'm thinking this image is the only image. Um, I would recommend having a handful of images. Um, ones that show what you're after. If you're after only outdoor, you know, woodsy weddings like this is, then only show that. If you do, uh, you know, a handful of different types of weddings and you like doing that, then show, you know, a variety. Um, on my screen, this, like the colors look kind of weird on this. So I, I might check that. Um, art subjective, photo subjective, video subjective. So take that with a grain of salt, but in my opinion, the greens look very, very saturated and the highlights in the faces kind of look blown out. Um, not, not entirely blown out, but they look a bit blown out and then the flowers are blown out. But um, I don't think it's a bad photo. I think if it's working for you, definitely keep it in there, but I might add in a few more if your website, you know, builder can do it and scroll through them or something like that. All right. Um, I like how this moves. You know, I always love stuff like that. Oh yeah. So these are way more photos. I would, Okay, so here's what I would do. I would keep this section. Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, so do these bring me to... All right, I'm just going to click on one, but again, I'm not really critiquing this stuff, so I'm going to click on this one. Roselle and Felix. Okay, cool. So this is like... I like this. I like... Um, you know, it's, I wouldn't call it a blog post, but right, you can click in. You can see a prominent photo, and it looks like maybe you can go to their gallery... All right, so I if so side thought here. If I were clicking this gallery singular, I would expect it to go to Roselle and Felix's gallery, which it kind of feels like we are on. I'm gonna click back and just make sure I'm the right thing here. Yeah, okay. Um, whereas gallery seems to take you to a list of galleries. So I would either clarify that or get rid of it maybe I, I'm not really sure um, I love this easily easily shareable you know the click back to home I would actually maybe switch these I feel like home is generally uh, tied to a logo which is generally centered um, maybe this takes me there no it does not um, or or uh, it's on the left hand side that might be a me thing I'm not sure um, okay and so this is I, I'm imagining it's their entire gallery which this I would not do, I think you absolutely want to have entire galleries, you know, that you can and will show to people. That's very important. It's very important for a client. They should see a full gallery. But this for somebody who's who's just perspective, who's just wanting to learn, seems like an easy way to say, oh, you know, oh, cool. Like I like this photo, click on it and see a full gallery. And that's like, 
that's a lot to deal with. I would rather see like, if you could have like this, I think this might be different photos and whatnot, but like you could have just like the main photo and then like a tiny little blog post, right? So you can use something like blog stomp if you want to kind of combine images or, you know, you just have, I don't know, 16 of your favorite images or something rather than what's loading here, um, which I believe is another full gallery. Cause I think a, that's just a lot of stuff to, to take in as a prospective client and B, as you can tell, I actually didn't know this was a full gallery first because it's taken quite a while to load. Um, so there it is. Not that, you know, the photos are bad. And again, I think that everybody should be able to see a full gallery. I think that's important. Um, but yeah. Um, and again, I'm not really going through the work itself. So I will leave that at that. Um, so I'm going to come back up to these. Oh, wait, a different photo appears to have loaded. So I don't know maybe if it's a different photo each time. If that's the case, again, I would recommend having your, you know, 10 favorite photos scrolling. Um, also, um, this cuts off weird. I'd always just, you know, keep an eye on that. I'll get back up to this and click through it unless I come to these tabs on their own, but I'm going to scroll down the bottom of the homepage. So again, I would, I would take like 10 photos up here and then I like this, but I would make this a little bit smaller. This is a lot to scroll through. Um, I don't think you have to display all of your work. Also photography and cinematography. You mentioned photography first. I don't know if you're, you know, been doing photo for a while and, and video is um, a little newer, but these are all photos. There are no videos on this main page um, or not on this main page, but on this section up until down here, of course. So I would just think about your priorities. I don't know where your priorities are, what you're booking more of, what you want to book more of, but right now you have a very photo heavy or photo, photo centric website. Um, so just think about what people will see and what they'll kind of associate with you. Um, all right. So highlight. Um, okay. I'll say a couple of things on this one a highlight in my opinion is not the first thing you want to display. At least for us, we want couples to book us for the stories that we tell and the videos we create. And while I think that highlights can be effective in some way, shape or form, I do not love the idea of a highlight. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, it's kind of like showing it's, it's kind of like not showing, you know, more than like one photo from, from a gallery in that, like, you know, a highlight, like anybody can create, anybody can get a good photo, right? I can get a good photo for my header image up here, but it doesn't mean that I can shoot a wedding, um, or, or tell a story or whatever. So like, you know, a highlight is kind of like that where like you can, anybody can, you know, get a couple cool drone shots and like the lighting was perfect for this, you know, couple shot and whatever. Um, but I, if I were a client, I would want to see a wedding film. So I, I would lean towards putting a wedding film first. That's just me. Um, I'm not going to comment on this too much. I comment, I said, I'm going to try to restrain myself as much as I can. $900 for photography is, uh, insanely cheap. I see that you're in Vancouver, so I don't know the market exactly, but there's just no way to be profitable at that, at that price point. So I would, I would again, highly recommend looking at your cost of doing business, um, what you need or want to make. Um, I, I just don't see that being profitable or, or nearly profitable. Um, you could even double that and probably not be profitable to some extent, I would think. I, again, I don't know like taxes and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I could be off a bit, but yeah, I would definitely address that. I know there are people in your market charging far, 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 far more than that. Um, okay. So here we get to, um, a wedding. Um, that's what I want to see in my opinion. Um, I think about your freeze frame here. Um, that's kind of its own, its own topic, I guess. This is not like a very flattering I image. If this is the bride and groom, which you can't even tell, uh, it's not very flattering in my opinion. Um, I'd pick something else. Um, this one's a little bit better, but again, I I'd pick something where, you know, like you're looking at a bride and groom, you just kind of know what you're looking at more. So, whereas this, you maybe don't as much and, and it's not the end of the world. You want people to click and play it. So, um, that's the most important thing. Okay. So pricing again. Um, I'm going to try not to comment as much on the pricing itself. Suffice to say, again, I don't think that these rates are necessarily sustainable or profitable. Um, 
I don't like that you have book us now under every single one. Um, it's just like, it's just a lot. And I will also say the same thing that I said about the previous website with your pricing in a general sense, uh, or sorry, not with your pricing, but with this um, category, we prefer to have our starting price. Um, we think that's very effective in kind of weeding out people who um, just don't value video or don't have the budget and just know that it, that budget isn't going to change, which is totally okay. But you know, then it just, our rates are our rates and it's just not going to work. Um, this is a ton of information for a prospective client to look at photo or video. I mentioned this, you know, I do a lot of wedding video stuff on here, but we shoot photo as well. Um, and we've done that for a very long time as well. Um, so this, you know, in my opinion, just as a, well, I was never a bride, but as a prospective client, um, this would be just a lot of info to look at. And then also a lot of, uh, you know, areas where you can kind of get tripped up um, or, or just, you know, points of potential confusion, which then turn into kind of a negative tick mark on the road of discussing having you um, shoot their wedding, um, which we try to avoid at all costs. Um, I do like this, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, exactly what you want to do, but kind of a little benefit of doing both photo and video, I think is great. You don't want to decrease your prices or anything like that, but adding a little value can be very helpful. Um, okay, I'm going to keep going here. I'm just reading this real quick. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like, you know, a little blurb about kind of what you're about, what your mission is, stuff like that. Um, this is what I was seeing on the other one. I think this is a scroll of your Instagram, um, which is awesome. We have that too, or something similar. Um, I love it. It, you know, automatically ups updates, which is great. Uh, contact stuff. This is awesome. Social. Um, again, I would, um, I would have social logos more prominent somewhere. Um, I said that on the last one as well. I don't know exactly with your design where I'd put them, but the very bottom of the website, both here and here, I think there could be better places. Um, all right, so your drop a message, your contact form, I think could have more info, and I would get rid of this. This, I don't know what purpose it serves. So I, I would maybe get rid of that and make your contact form have more info to just help you know more. Like there's nothing on here about what date is your wedding or are you looking for photo or video or how did you hear about us, which can be great. And I know you can get to that down the road, but plenty of people I imagine will, you know, email you, you'll email back and you don't hear back. That's just what happens. Whereas you can at least then still keep track of where they found you, um, which can be helpful. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to the, up to the top and just click on these. I imagine these bring me just to these um, points in the website, but I'm just gonna check. Yeah, okay, so wedding, or sorry, photography, cinematography. And I like that this stays with me, that's nice. Um, gallery, again, um, this this is, on A, this is a repeat kind of of what you have on photography, and B, this is a ton of stuff um, for people to get into, you know, when they click through and it brings them to the full gallery, I believe. And C, um, it should be galleries, which is a very minor, but you're talking in here too, you know, you're talking about galleries. These are multiple galleries of different events, weddings, proposals, you know, what, what have you. So that should be, you know, if, if you are going to keep it on there, make it galleries so people know what they're clicking on. I, if I click on gallery, I would expect like a, you know, a, top 20 photos, like what I've been saying, um, you should maybe have it at the very top scrolling through here, which again, I notice now that it does, it, it maybe doesn't scroll through. If it does scroll through, do it faster. Um, if it, if, but I think it's just going each time you come back to the homepage, it's a new image. I would also, um, check, um, your quality of the images you're doing here. Cause these are obviously a lot bigger than they are down here. And like, this looks pretty grainy to me. Um, also, I don't know if she has purple hair. If she does, awesome. If she doesn't, um, just just make sure you're presenting your best work up here is what I would say. Um, so then pricing just brings me down there, I imagine, and contact us to there. Um, okay, outside of that, uh, not too much I can think of. Um, I think it's, you know, it's well laid out. I, I like this. I wish it didn't lead you to a full gallery. 
Um, but I like the different, you know, kind of like the squares and rectangles and whatever. Um, and the only other thing I would say is that you, your website comes off as I do photo, I do video, I do weddings, I do 18th birthdays, which I didn't even know was a thing, but, um, maybe I, I, I'm not familiar with whatever culture this might be from, um, or, you know, engagements, proposals, that's kind of all the, you know, wedding stuff, but it, it comes across as doing a variety of things, debut, I don't know what that is, maybe 18 again, maybe, maybe that's what's called a debut, I don't know, um, so I would just really key in, like, if you get a lot of work and you want to continue getting a lot of work in, you know, this field or whatever, and it's worth your time with the debuts or, or what these two things are, then include it. But if you want to come off as a, you know, a, really like a wedding professional, I would maybe pare it down to weddings. All right, so that is going to do it for um, reviews here. It seems like two is probably the number to stop at. So there it is guys, I hope you found this useful. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, a lot of this stuff is pretty general and applicable to really any website. So I hope you learned something, something that you can apply to your specific website and make it even better. I'm really excited to do more of these videos, both of websites and of wedding film critiques. And again, if you want your website or film critiqued, comment down below, I'll add it to the list and get you in there. And as always, if you like this video or you learned something, please subscribe and follow along for more videos.